Hello beautiful people, I have the Kaleidos Club Nebula with me today and this is a collaboration with beauty YouTuber Angelica Nickfist, also known as Angie for short and Kaleidos. So I got, what I got is actually the custom shipper. This is an ad additional $8 for this US dollar and it's really pretty. It comes in a box like that and this is how the eyeshadow is stored inside. And it comes in a nice box that matches the shipper. So, and this is the palette itself. It does have a plastic inside. A hard plastic which I'll put aside. The matte colours are darker and grungier. And they have interesting shimmer colours as well. So what they have is actually two multi-chromes, three sparkling dual chromes, one sparkling metallic and nine highly pigmented mattes. I'm going to do three eye looks, including this one, and come back and give you my review of what I think about the palette. I forgot to mention, I also got the deck of cards, and this is so interesting. So I must say the quality is actually quite good. So this is how they look like that. The face of the cards, according to the different houses, they have the different de designs. And the quality is really quite good. The sh custom shipper box is also good for storing your knickknacks if you're interested in it. You can take out this foam. And when you take it out, that's how it looks inside. Okay, so let's start with the eye looks. green I'm gonna put some of the blue as well Now to try the other eye. For the shadows, I find it a little bit more difficult to blend. I guess the base has to be properly primed first before to blend this out.
What do I think about this palette? This is the first time I'm using Kaleidos. So what I notice about this brand is that they do pay a lot of attention to the packaging itself. And uh, the packaging itself, although it's cardboard, it is a sturdy cardboard. There is a nice weight to it. It does feel nice in the hand. And the, words, the words are raised up and it does have a nice feel, texture to it. So like a wax paper. I was reading up about the company and they were saying that they pride themselves on individuality and being true to yourself and not conforming to the normal standards of beauty and daring to be who you are. So these colours are definitely uh, not the usual colours. It's for people who like colours and, and enjoy experimenting with different looks. So Because these are not the usual colours, it takes a little while to think of a look to do and how the colours combine to give the best effect. For myself, I do find it quite challenging and I do actually find it fun to, to experiment more with this and try out different looks and different combinations to see what kind, of a, what kind of looks I can come up with. So the thing about the mattes that I noticed that it's a little bit more difficult to blend. So it's better to actually start off with a lighter, a lighter wash of colour and slowly build it up from there. It's also recommended that a base be applied beforehand an eyeshadow base so the colors can uh, last longer appear more vibrant and the shimmers are also fun to play with they're actually quite bright so for example this color just to swatch a bit of the shimmers this is a little bit lighter so who do I recommend this palette to? I recommend this palette to anyone who likes to challenge themselves with colours that's not the usual colours that are out of the box and who enjoy shimmers and who's not afraid of standing out with colours. So that's my review for today. I'll see you again the next time. Stay beautiful. Bye!